Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we're going to learn how we can install Metaplex. Metaplex comes as a command line tool so that way you can then build and control a candy machine or use other Metaplex programs. Metaplex, the command line tool, is distributed in the Metaplex GitHub repository. So our first step is going to be to clone the GitHub repository. Then we can install the dependencies that we need. So if you want to find all of these commands and copy them, then just go to the source files for this section. Otherwise, I'm going to show you all the commands to type in. The first command we need is git clone and followed by the link to Metaplex and then the location where we're going to clone into. So in this case, we're using git, the command line tool. We're using git clone, which means we are cloning a GitHub repository. GitHub is a popular website where developers will put projects and also companies will put projects like Metaplex Studios has put Metaplex onto GitHub. So you can clone it, which means copy it from GitHub onto your computer. So this is the link you have to use to get Metaplex. And then you specify where on your computer. So in this case, we are cloning into the current folder into a subfolder called Metaplex. So my current folder is just my computer's root folder and I'm going to clone it into a new subfolder that will be created called Metaplex. So then you hit enter and the command will be executed. We are cloning into my root user, user slash Alex, my root folder on my computer, slash Metaplex. So that means a new subfolder has been created and inside of that subfolder, I am going to get a clone of Metaplex from GitHub. So you should see this success message. This will create a folder in your home directory with the latest code from the GitHub repository. And you can see it by going into your root user folder and then going into the Metaplex subfolder, which is a new folder that has now been created. So here we have some hidden files. We also have some metadata. We have documentation, JavaScript, and Rust, which are all folders that are part of Metaplex. So now we have access to Metaplex on our computer. So coming up next, we're going to install Metaplex dependencies. So we go back into the terminal, make sure you're not inside of the Metaplex folder. Make sure you're just on the root of your computer. Here we're going to install dependencies for Metaplex. So we're going to use yarn for the installation and use yarn install cwd followed by the location of the dependencies which is going to be in metaplex slash js so this is the location of the tool that we want to install so this is in js we want to use this folder metaplex slash js and install the dependencies that we need so if you hit enter you'll see yarn install we are validating package.json, which means we're going into the Metaplex folder slash JavaScript subfolder into the file package.json, which is automatically what gets looked for. We're going to then install all of the dependencies in package.json. So we can take a look at that file and see all of the dependencies listed in the file. For that, you can scroll down to dependencies and dev dependencies. So we're going to be installing all of this to use Metaplex, cross env, react, all of these helper or dependencies for Metaplex to work. All right, so once that finishes, you will see a success message. Don't worry if you see warnings, those are common. So just give this a minute to install all of those dependencies. Then you can check that you have everything working. You can check that you have Metaplex installed with the dependencies as well by trying out a candy machine command. So you now have access to Metaplex candy machine as a command line interface, which means you can interface with the program via the command line. And you can check that you have everything installed by running a candy machine command. So I'm going to wait for the dependencies to install and then I'm going to try out a candy machine command. Okay, so great. This is says done, which means the installation of the dependencies is complete. The dependencies are helper packages that Metaplex needs to work. Then we're going to type in one more command. This command uses TypeScript node, 
So of course you have to have it installed. And then we're going to go into this file. This file means our current folder slash metaplex slash js slash packages slash command line interface slash source slash candy machine version two command line interface CLI for short dot ts which is a TypeScript file which means we are going to be running this file candy machine version two CLI then we are using a command dash dash version which means we want to check what version of the candy machine do we have you can hit enter and we will get our result of 0.02 .02, currently the latest version if you see the version that means you have Metaplex installed and you have the dependencies installed which means you have Candy Machine working so that is how you can install Metaplex which includes Candy Machine and other programs part of Metaplex as well congratulations everyone and I will see you in the next lecture. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.